hey you guys it's shamira aka mimi if you're new welcome to the channel if you guys are returning welcome back so you guys it, it is soulful sunday and this is a really random collective message okay so off the bat you guys overall energy is the five of cups the king of pentacles in reverse the queen of cups in reverse the ace of cups in reverse the queen of swords in reverse and the emperor came on sideways okay so right now i'm feeling like some of you guys are thinking about cutting a relationship or a connection off because you feel like your person is not showing up for you okay some of you guys could be finding yourself in a really emotional uh, state right now for some of you guys you could be going through your cycle or you could be experiencing intense emotions specifically if you guys are a water dominant person i'm seeing cancer scorpio pisces for some reason i'm getting scorpio and pisces um you could be a scorpio or pisces i'm looking at the fish okay it doesn't matter what water sign you are but i'm seeing that whatever water placements in your chart is definitely being affected and i'm feeling like it has something to do with this last moon phase i believe it was just a full moon a few days ago maybe last week but i'm seeing that since that moon cycle you guys have been feeling really intense and deep emotions okay so right now because you are emotionally heightened um i'm seeing a moon your moon side can be in cancer cancer moon i was hearing cancer moon also scorpio and pisces but um i'm seeing that you guys could be going through moments of specifically when you're by yourself of crying spells or, or stuff like that or just feeling really really down and out feeling sad and you quite don't know why um this definitely could be you guys uh finally experiencing or allowing yourself to experience your emotions i'm seeing it only happens when you're by yourself when you realize you're by yourself uh, most of the time when you're like in the middle of the day maybe taking a shower or just in really deep thought i'm hearing early in the morning late at night you guys could be experiencing these things okay and i'm also feeling like um, some of you guys are feeling isolated and alone because you're realizing that a lot of your connections in your life right now, you're surrounded by people who are not there for you, okay? And it's kind of disappointing. I'm seeing that you guys are just not feeling the love. You don't feel, it's not that you guys don't feel heard, you don't feel seen, it's just that you don't, you don't feel like a lot of people around you feel you, okay? You don't feel the love, you don't feel the support, you don't feel like you have anybody. And I'm hearing that some of you guys could definitely have cut a lot of people off. You could be grieving the loss of a lot of connections you guys recently cut off. Remember that, you know, when you think about these connections, when you grieve these connections, it's a, it's, it's a natural part of grieving. It's a natural part of loss. It's a natural part of life. So don't beat yourself up. Um, never entertain the thought of taking these people back you definitely cut these people off or disconnected from them for a reason and i'm feeling like it's, it was for your growth or just for your, your your highest good okay i'm seeing some of you guys could have prayed for this you could have prayed to uh have had people removed from your life for better connections okay but i'm seeing that you guys could have experienced something uh recently okay that kind of got you out of your pocket uh emotionally it caused some sort of emotional upheaval in your life recently and you're realizing right after you have cut everyone off you really don't have too many people to lean on or you really don't have a lot of people who make you feel comfortable enough to be vulnerable with them emotionally okay Some of you guys could be on your um, cycle, your menstrual cycle, if you are a feminine. For others of you, you probably aren't on your cycle, but it feels like it. You're experiencing probably PMS symptoms. And that's absolutely normal. But I'm feeling like you guys are looking for uh, healthy ways to cope with these emotions, okay? I'm really feeling like you are, I would say... Uh, you are conscious of your behavior and how you could be coming off to other people around you. Right now, you could be feeling really emotionally sensitive. Um, you're easily triggered by any little thing. 
um you might come off a little moody and snappy with this queen of swords in reverse and this queen of cups in reverse I'm seeing you guys may be in a lot of quarrels or spats and stuff with people around you um, over the smallest little things. And you guys are realizing that this is not healthy for you. This is not a healthy behavior to reside in. Okay, so some of you guys could be crying about that or really, feeling really down and out about that. This anger, okay, this emotional discord, if you guys have let go or disconnected from a lot of people you know you're, gr you're grieving people you're grieving the loss of people whether it be physical or just energetically you know people you have cut off out your life or people who just have kind of fell away from your life okay naturally you going through this grieving process anger okay feeling really sensitive feeling triggered that's part of the process so uh, don't beat yourself up um for most of you you may need to just like uh turn to maybe therapy okay nothing is wrong with therapy or even i'm seeing journaling to healthily get those emotions out because they need to go somewhere um others of you guys you are needing to turn to therapy or even turn to a trusted family member or friend um because you guys are in a relationship you may be um overwhelming your person maybe overloading your person with your emotions okay and what you guys are really working through what you guys are going through you must remember when you are in a connection with another person you're in relationships you cannot hold other people responsible for your emotions okay you definitely have to learn how to balance them on your own okay they can support you but they cannot be solely responsible or the antidote for those feelings and stuff for those emotions they cannot solve all of your emotional issues. So some of you guys could be in a situation right now where you're considering cutting your connection or cutting your relationship with a person, with a spouse. Um, you feel like this person is just not there for you. This person comes off as a King of Pentacles um, naturally. You know, this person is always in this King of Pentacles energy, but lately this person is not coming through for you. They're not really emotionally available how you would like them to be, okay? So I'm feeling like this person, if this person is uh, coming off as the king of pinnacles in reverse, you know, really selfish, self-absorbed, usually upright. This is a really grounded, stable, reliable, generous, generous person, generous energy, authoritative figure, um, parental figure in a way. Someone you guys can rely on. But when it comes to the emotional, the emotional side, not the practical side of the relationship, this person is just not it. They're not fulfilling uh, your emotional needs, okay? And that's absolutely okay. Um, it's just, you know, sometimes you have to understand people have different love languages or different emotional levels, okay? Emotional maturity, that's what I wanted to say. Um, this person may not be there at this time, okay? Or well, this person is probably not naturally like this, okay? I'm definitely saying this person could be a really stoic person. Um, this person is usually focus on the more practical side of life i don't really say this person is emotional based or not really emotionally moved as you guys may be okay so if you guys are dealing with like a capricorn or a taurus virgo type of energy they definitely may be your opposite okay opposites attract um this person will balance you out in some way um yeah, I'm, I've seen this person is not the type of person who I could talk about feelings and emotions. It kind of make them feel uncomfortable. So um, if you guys are kind of relying on this person or leaning on this person for emotional support due to something you guys are going through right now, this is the wrong person to rely on. Um, just because you are in, in a connection with a person, a relationship with a person. Um, one thing, like I said, doesn't mean they have to be solely responsible for comforting you um, emotionally. They're just not there, okay? And it's not good to like really shit on you guys or to take off for this person. This is a reminder. Okay, you guys, give me a second. Give me a second, you guys. And my apologies, you guys. I got to turn that Alexa um, notification off. She does it every day, even on the weekends. Okay, so this is definitely a type of person, like I said, um, just because you are in a relationship with a person doesn't mean that they will fulfill every single need or desire you guys are having. It's okay to rely on or lean on um, certain connections for certain reasons, okay? I'm seeing that if you guys do not have a lot of friends around you, do not have, once again, um, a lot of trusted family members, uh, try to 
try to find an alternative uh, outlet, okay, for you guys to get those emotions out and stuff like that or to rely on when you guys are going through your uh, emotional difficult times, okay? Yeah, because I'm saying this person could either just naturally not be emotionally available. They're not that, that open, okay? I definitely have to keep saying that or this person is just focused on other things. Um, and I'm also seeing this person could be definitely the type of person, if you guys are going through something you wanna tell them about your day, you want them to be an ear to listen to, that person to just shut the hell up when you guys just been to. But they always seem to give you, yeah, cause I'm saying this person is naturally practical. They, they love to give you advice, okay? So they could give you um, some practical advice for your situation or to make you feel better. I mean, even so this person could be the type of person to buy you gifts to make you feel better or even to, um, you know, TMI, or this could be a little touchy. They may even be the type of person who loves to get a little touchy and Philly. This is a earth sign energy. Um, they could want to maybe give you a kiss and think that's gonna kind of make you feel better. But what you guys are craving, what you guys are looking for, what you guys are needing and wanting and desiring from this connection in your life right now is more of an emotional connection, okay? More of someone to hold space for you emotionally. You guys just aren't getting it from this person. Okay. So um, this person, both of you guys just have different ways of expressing love or expressing your emotions. Um, your emotions and this person may not be that person once again to uh, expect that from. Okay. They're just not there. Okay. And there's nothing you can do about it. This person is great when it comes to the practical side or the practicality of the relationship and of life, but emotionally, no. They're not the right person to lean on. I'm not saying this person can't show up for you, you know, any other time emotionally, just this person just is just not there. I'm also seeing this person could be dealing with a lot of things as far as I have a lot of things on their plate. I'm um, focusing on the stability of the relationship and of their own personal life. This person could be dealing with issues at work. I'm also seeing this person because they do have an authoritative uh, energy about them. This person could be a boss, a CEO, a manager of a company. So this person is dealing with a lot when it comes to their uh, work life too. So that's why this person cannot be emotionally to enmeshed okay and immersed in you at this moment so to kind of take it easy on this person and not take your emotions out on this person because i'm definitely saying you guys may spaz you may come to this person and cry and stuff like that and this person just give you a gift and you're like what the fuck i don't want no fucking gift okay <laughs> or i don't i don't want no no fucking advice sometimes you guys just want to really vent and really tell this person what you're going through you may want this person to console you maybe hug you and kiss you and this person doesn't seem to be very emotionally expressive how you guys desire this person to be okay so i'm saying you guys may uh you may opt to yeah because i'm saying you guys may go through a lot of spots with this person because of this because they're not giving you what you feel like you desire or what you need emotionally okay don't expect too much from this person. Once again, I'm not saying that this person, it's okay for this person to neglect you emotionally. Because I'm hearing some of you guys could make through many moon phases with this person. Maybe expressing your emotions or your feelings to this person plenty of times. And they just brush you off or they listen to you and you guys get crickets. Okay, there's no feedback. Um, yeah, because I'm hearing some of you guys, the reason why this person is like not really giving too much to you emotionally because they're kind of afraid they don't really know how to navigate emotions they feel really uncomfortable they might not feel comfortable with you guys crying or you understand what i'm saying with this queen of cups the reverse you guys could be really sorrowful right now you could be crying a lot or are really sensitive any little thing triggers you and this person could be keeping their distance from you because they feel like if they say anything they may say the wrong thing and they may kind of tick you guys off or kind of trigger you guys so they're kind of Focusing on the practical side of the relationship, maybe not indulging because they really don't want to uh, make things worse. OK, so give this person grace because I'm hearing something about when you guys are angry, when you guys are upset, emotionally enraged or charged up. Emotionally sensitive, this person may get the worst sides of you. They may get your toxic side, they may experience your toxic side. So this person is like, well, let me go ahead and just like really protect myself and maybe keep a distance from this person. Maybe just focus on work and focus on their practical side of the relationship because two emotionally charged people are not going to make the situation better. So this person is definitely that type of person. They they think, okay, they think before they act or before they respond. 
Okay, so this person could be a, a definitely a deep thinker if you are expressing your emotions and your feelings to this person and they're giving you like practical advice. It's because they really do want to help, but they feel like they don't have to be overly emotionally expressive or emotion, like I said, immersed or enmeshed in your life in order to support you. Okay. Some of you guys may be trying to cut this person off or just titling this person as being emotionally unavailable or just labeling this person as being emotionally unavailable or emotionally unfulfilling um, because you guys want what you want. Okay. Not because this person is a bad person. It's because right now this person is choosing to be in this energy. <laughs> it's because you guys are just not getting what you guys want and desire from this person. Okay. So the please, 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 I have to say it again. Um, you guys do not make a permanent decision of cutting this person off or cutting this relationship off because you guys aren't getting what you want at this moment. Um, once again, turn to another outlet to express your feelings or get your emotions, your emotional needs met. It's just not going to be this person. And I have to say this one more time. You may get a little pissed, but this person is choosing to stay in this practical energy and this uh, king of pentacles in reverse energy because they feel like it's the best thing to do. It's the best uh, solution, okay, for you guys' relationship. So they're thinking about the relationship as a whole outside of the emotions. This person is the person who keeps the relationship balanced, okay? This is what they do best. They make that money. They focus on the money. They focus on the practical side. But when it comes to the emotions, they just may not be that person. Um, so go call your homegirl up, call your call your sibling up, okay, your homeboy up and, and, and spend some time with them rather than relying on this person to meet all of your emotional needs because this person is just not going to meet them at this time, okay? It's, it's just going to cause you guys to feel a little bit more unstable emotionally, maybe make you guys a little more angry. And I feel like you could be overwhelming this person, okay? So do your best not to overwhelm this person. And for others of you guys, this person once again could just have a lot on their plate and they just aren't in that space or that that place that the mental place or space to be there for you emotionally or uh showcase your emotions or give back the emotions you guys are giving to them okay yeah you guys are like i'm feeling out of control i'm feeling like i can't i can't keep it under control i feel like i'm spazzing on my person i'm spazzing on everyone around me i need something i need someone to talk to or some way to get my anger out. For others of you with this Emperor card, you guys may need to get it out physically. Um, maybe work out, take a walk, or just get really active, okay? Most of the emotions you guys are feeling, I don't know why I'm feeling, but with this uh, Queen of Cups and this Queen of Swords in reverse, it could be a lot of anger, okay? A lot of resentment or a lot of disappointment about how life is going. Even about uh, the things you guys have experienced in your past. I'm seeing shadow work right now. Some of you guys could be going through shadow work, a period of doing shadow work or the beginning of your shadow work. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be pretty. It's really, really messy. Uh, some days you may feel like you're on top of the world. You are in control of your emotions and your feelings. And you know what I'm saying? You guys are in your sound mind, but on other days, you're easily triggered, easily sensitive. And I feel like it has something to do with you guys finally experiencing, okay? Finally feeling some repressed feelings you guys may have been harboring or holding on to, okay, in your life. And something to do with this, this moon cycle, this last moon cycle is the reason, okay? Some of you guys could be on your menstrual cycle. Not all of you, but some of you guys could be. You could uh, have your menstrual cycle sync with the moon cycles. But you're feeling like you're not getting the love and support from your uh, person. What also came out, you guys, as the uh, the overall outcome, okay? The best thing for you guys to do right now, like I said, is to focus on uh, maybe getting your anger out, getting your emotions out, or expressing or experiencing or coping with your emotions in a more healthy way. Uh, with someone else, okay? Not with someone else. Uh, and just another outlet, okay? Journaling, running, okay? Working out, walking, uh, talking to a, a therapist, talking to a friend, talking to a family member besides talking to this person or belonging to this person. And I'm also seeing that you guys could um, 
refrain from when it comes to your person communicating with your person or just um yeah i'm seeing cutting communication or maybe reducing communication with your person okay to kind of keep the peace in the relationship that may be your solution to uh the issues you guys are having with your person your person just not being there for you yeah the best thing for you guys to do is, is to uh yeah kind of slow down communication maybe ask this person for a little bit of space or maybe hold off uh communicating with this person or interacting with this person because when you are emotionally in you know unstable mentally unstable or emotionally charged you guys can make a lot of uh irrational decisions okay or really rash decisions and cutting this relationship off or this person off or maybe even coming at this person yelling at this person communicating really harshly with this person is just not it okay yeah i'm seeing you guys slow to reply to text messages from this person some of you guys could be feeling like you know you you've been over uh incidents with this person where you wanted to be comforted emotionally or you were looking for this person to fulfill you emotionally and they just weren't doing it you guys are just really starting to realize that this relationship may not be the relationship for you but i'm, I'm hearing really really loudly to not make a rash decision when you are not in your best emotional or mental state don't make a permanent decision based on temporary emotions or a temporary moment. Okay, because you guys could be making a, a big uh, a big mistake. So before you guys cut this person off, cut this relationship off, or once again, like I said, um, go at it, toe to toe with this person. Think before you act, okay? Calm yourself down, maybe even take a walk, okay? Take a walk, exert your energy somewhere else and see how you feel afterwards before you make this decision with this person or pertain to this person. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Some of you are like, this is my only person. This is the only person I have, I'm connected to. I'm, I have in my life and stuff like that. But um, you can always uh, meet other people. You can always connect to other people. Find your own soul tribe. Find people who are emotionally in tune and uh tapped into themselves as well as, as as others you can find other emotionally uh available or emotionally mature people that you guys can connect to to get your needs met i'm just saying that this person this connection just saying that okay yeah and for those of you who have who have let go of a lot of connections because they weren't emotionally fulfilling um I know sometimes it can be a little lonely being by yourself or working through your emotions by yourself, but um, going back to those connections, those unfulfilling connections are not the answer. Okay, so um, do your best not to entertain going back to those connections. You definitely let them go for a reason. I had to say that for someone. Okay. My advice, cry it out. Cry it out a little bit. You'll be fine. Okay, it's natural. And you'll be okay. So I hope you guys got something from this message. It was a little uh, chaotic. It was definitely a little chaotic. This is the energy I was getting for uh, this Soulful Sunday. Uh, stay tuned for the uh, messages for today. The random messages on my community board for today. I usually post it um, a little late. I'll say I'm, I may post it in like another hour or so after you guys see this message. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed everything your weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope you guys got something from this reading. Thank you so much for being with me and for watching. I definitely will see you guys next time. Bye.